Hi, my name is Brad Neal, and this is a thing that I think is pretty cool. It's called Adobe Spark, and it's free, so that makes it pretty great automatically. Maybe. One of the cool things is, though, with a school account, uh, specifically um, if your educational institution provides a um, Adobe Premiere account, uh, promote, uh, Creative Cloud account, whatever exactly it's called, um, you get actually a little bit more bang for your buck. Namely, you don't have watermarks on your images that you create. So what does it actually do? Um, well, I use it uh, in a variety of different ways. It's kind of become my de facto uh, image maker. Um, so if I'm needing to do something like a thumbnail for a YouTube video, um, here on the screen you can see uh, some uh, things that I did to make some stickers because it comes out with pretty high resolution images. Um, yeah, it does a whole bunch of stuff uh, for you. And the thing that I like about it the most is you really don't have to be a graphical genius in order to uh, be able to use this piece of software. Um, and all of the different creations that you make, uh, you can just go back and use and abuse or whatever it is that uh, you see fit. But what I thought that I might do here is do uh, one little graphic uh, with you to just give you a feel for how this works. So one of the nice things is, um, and again, I use it just for graphics. I don't use it for much anything else. Um, it's got a whole bunch of already pre-built sizes um, so that if you wanted to make an Instagram post for whatever, your co Facebook cover page, um, just a Facebook post, a YouTube thumbnail, that's me, um, it's already got a bunch of these sizes already built into the uh, program. Um, so you don't have to look up, oh, what's the size of an Instagram story? Like, nah, it's right here, and you can go ahead and get going. Um, or if you do want to have your own custom size, you can do that as well uh, further down. But I'm going to do this little YouTube thumbnail graphic here uh, because I just posted a different video um, and I need to get that going. Okay, so here is uh, the thing that they came up with. Um, cool and all, but uh, not really what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see maybe there's a template that I can start with to see um, if it would work a little bit better. Um, and so far, there's really not been much of anything that's shown up here. Um, so I'm actually, I like the color though. I'm going to actually uh, get rid of a whole bunch of this. Yes, I'm going to uh, delete the cell because why not? And you can hopefully see here as I'm deleting these things, um, there's a whole bunch of layering tools that you can use. And if I make myself disappear here for a second, um, down here in the bottom corner uh, that I just clicked on, you can see all the different layers. So if you're used to more advanced image software, um, it's got the capability of doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change this text up here in the top and right, and I'm gonna type in things I think think are cool. Actually, I don't think that's what I called that video. I think I called it things that are cool. And I don't really like that font, so I'm going to change the font here. And, ooh, that's a little bit better, actually. I kind of think that's not too shabby. And I can see that, oh, there's like this little blue image behind this that I didn't know was there, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, we can change the shape of the text, so uh, there's whole different shapes that you can do, masking, shadows, etc. Shadows, I think, are cool every once in a while, personally. Um, I'm sure that purists can tell me exactly how wrong I am with that in terms of social uh, branding, etc. Um, but then let's say that you want um, to put an image in here. Well, I like this little icon search that is available. so. I can just type in something like a check mark and then boom, there is a check mark and it shows up right here on the screen. Um, and what I'm going to do here is, because uh, I kind of like this font, I think 
just kind of serendipitously landed on that. I don't like that color, so I can just click that here. And then it says like, well, maybe this other color would look a little bit better because it's got suggested color palettes on it. Um, I want something that stands out a little bit more, so we'll stick with that one. Again, the purist in the group can tell me exactly how wrong I am. You can move around and it'll give you like, uh, and it's kind of hard to see this faint little pink line. Like, okay, it is centered uh, in the middle part of the screen. And I want to take this and I can actually duplicate that just by clicking a little button here. And I kind of like doing the whole shadowing effect myself personally just like a little bit, something maybe like that, things that are cool. It's a little, maybe a little bit hard to read, but but I also really wanted to duplicate that so that I could take it down here and I could turn off that shape that was behind it. I could turn off the shadow. I could change the font and turn back the color to that one. I can rotate this and now that like a little red line popped up, it says, hey, you're good and I'm gonna change that with Brad Neal. And I'm gonna change this font size, not from like Insano to something probably normal. And then drag that down here. Things that are cool with Brad Neal. And I'll maybe make this just a smidge bigger. We'll see how that goes. And then I wanna make this a little bit bigger and oh no the layering is all messed up no it's not it's fine because i can just click the layering and hopefully this is making a little bit of sense here i'm going to turn the shape off on it i'm going to go back over here turn the shape back off on it and i'm going to play around with the coloring a little bit here but that's totally fine by me um yeah it's a pretty neat little uh program here for creating free graphics um like and i i mean i just i don't know to me that's just uh almost worth its weight in gold there um and i would encourage you to play around with it a little bit uh see what you do and don't like about it um oh there we go put that black like that change up the little uh spacing here just a little smidge and i could use my arrow keys and get it a little bit better dialed in um but yeah adobe spark that's the name of this thing and i encourage you uh, if you never need to make a graphic uh for something it's pretty neat highly encourage oh what do you get to publish it as if you go up to the top you can download it as a png uh a jpeg or a pdf um, and if you do the jpeg you can actually click uh you can actually tell it um oops you can give it the ability to have a solid or a clear background. So that's that. Hope this was a monicum of help for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.